Hello there guys, this is Night 79 back with the second part of a Total War co-op that I'm doing with uh, Mr. Smart Donkey. Hello. And we're playing as the Picks and the Jutes, playing on Legendary setting. Um, and it's going pretty well so far. Uh, I'm happy with the progress so far, how about you Donkey? Yeah, it's been a good first episode. We, uh, we took a bunch of provinces, no things that are looking horribly bad just yet. I mean, you had a rebellion, but it's, it's a fairly small one, you should be able to deal with that. I was uh, somewhat afraid that maybe the Caledonians were going to come for you, but it doesn't look like that is going to happen yet. Uh, the, the, the main thing I'm worried about with the Caledonians is them attacking Sagontium and uh, raising it. That would set me back horrendously. Yeah, that, that'd be kind of annoying, yeah. Right, I'm um, going to take Huffin here. Actually, let me see. I don't assume they're at war with anyone, but if they are, they're at war with the Rugians, which I... I haven't discovered yet, so I can't ask them for any money, sadly. Um, well, where are the Rusians? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, they're right over the other side, if I remember. Oh, they've they're actually at got... The far east of Gothiscanza. They've got an ally in the Varinians, which is kind of annoying. The Danes do. The Varinians? Yeah. Oh no, they're a tributary right. state of the Danes. Interesting. That's so... the one right underneath Hafen. Yeah, they're right to, rest to the south. Uh, it's so surprising that they're a tributary state, but... My ancestors... I could get a non-aggression pack with them first. Would that stop them from going to war with me? Probably not. Uh, it depends. I mean, if you call allies in, it's whether they... One of the things in this game with tributary states is that they're not like in previous Total Wars where they had to join your wars. They got an option this time. Um, and a lot of the times, the tributaries... Um, sort of break up when you, when you declare war they say no we're not going to join so if you can get good relations with them if you play that diplomacy and try and get non-aggression with them and things the chances are they'll say no to joining the war and break so the agreement like alright let's see if that works they rejected my non-aggression I'll see if I pay them 300 for it hmm reject that too I'm not willing to pay them too much if I can avoid it I wouldn't um you might be lucky in the fact that they'll be pretty weak. Yeah. Oh, they took it for 440. That's something. How about some trade? Hmm. Well, I guess uh, we'll find out if they join or not. If they do, I just wasted 440 bucks. But <laughs> You'll find get out. back. I just loot and knock you <laughs> Yep, they joined their ally. Well, that's a shame. Okay, that's definitely that was off. Go uh, protective on that one. Lost 93 men. Alright. Wow. We'll occupy that. Is there nothing else? Okay, so there they are. Oh <laughs> god. Yeah, and the Varinians as well. Interesting. Well, the Varinians are pretty weak. Um, yeah, but I mean, if they send it together with the Danes, then it could be something yeah. problematic, I suppose. How's your fleet? Um. Not too those bad. two armies that are in the water are actual. Are they armies? Armies, they're not fleets. Hmm. Now that I think it's the yeah, they don't suffer with sea sickness, so they're pretty good in the. Oh in the right, sea. yeah, they wouldn't actually, yeah, wouldn't matter too much then. Right, so I think I'll just I'll probably just. Uh, uh -huh. put, Have you put... just just discovered the Burgundians? Uh. Burgundians, probably. I don't. F Hold on, let me check. Um, faction encounter of Burgundians, yeah, and the Rugians, which mm. I, ca I wish I discovered them first so I could have joined their war and uh, not have the Varunians against me as well. Um, I don't. I'm not quite sure what to do with my navy. I think I want to send it back to either Refnus Holt or Alabu to deal with the Geats in case they come over. But. I mean, there's a lot of enemies here as well, but my stack in Hafen is pretty strong, so I'm not too worried about that. So I think I will just send it back. I'd move up and maybe recruit a couple, one or two more of the melee type. Okay. And then you should be able to deal with that Gates fleet pretty easily. Should I move up to Raffnus Holt or Alabu? What do you think? Um, it's hard to say, really. 
I can probably reach him from Malibu anyway, and then I've got a little bit more protection there. Yeah. Well, if you, yeah, I'd park him in Alibu, because then you'll get the bonus to your replenishment for being right. in port. Uh, and then some melee ones. I could also get an Onager yeah. one. Uh, yeah, an Onager one's good, because if if you play the, the naval battle out, one direct hit on a ship tends to instantly put it on fire uh, and sink it. All right. I think I'll just get one of each then. So then I've got... Uh... Four melee, four ranged, and one onager. Yeah. I think that sounds pretty good. My income's going to be just absolutely horrendous, but hopefully once I've dealt with all this geet stuff, I can get rid of my second army. I mean, they're not very cost costing me very much, but uh, every little bit counts, I suppose. And i got to watch out the angles then declare war on me. It's the angles that I'm, I'd be worried about, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'll see what the Danes do. Very often, what I notice is that when someone becomes a, a migrating faction, they just they bugger off, they just leave. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing that's what they might do here as well. Anyway, whatever the case, I think I'll end my turn. But before I do that, let me we have need send of you another small gift. I'm sure <laughs> we also need good food. So All right, find out what the Danes do. Caledonians not didn't move, I think. So they haven't done anything to Sigontium yet. Oh, there's the Danes going on land. There's the Geats moving back. I think that fleet's trying to get away from my navy. Looks like it's uh, moving far enough away. Yeah. I'd maybe put your fleet back at Hrefenshalt then next turn. Yeah, yeah, with the Geats incoming, the extra army. The thing I'm worried about now is that the Danes seem to have those two stacks coming towards me through land, which means they might not want to go for Avon, but for uh, Alabu. Well, the full army is when the Brennians just moved. Looks like it's just one unit. <laughs> if I still yeah. have my navy over there, that's our faction leader as well, let's kill him. Ah, right, so I've got the cycle of Olam Rai. Oh, that's the uh, special general you can get. Hmm. I'll head to the lake. Oh, I got the loyalty secured this time, thank God for that. <laughs> nice. Right. Just uh, hiring a couple of mercenaries in this army, and then I'm going to chase these rebellion away. Bit of a misclick there, but uh, that's a auto resolvable one. Nice. So that's that dealt with. I'll probably have another one next turn. <laughs> it looks like you I'm do. I'm going yeah. to, yeah. Oh, well, you've got the taxes still up there, don't you? Oh yes, of course I do. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, we're on positive one now, so... There you go. Right, I'm going to uh, attack Rome now, I think. Let's see who I know. The... Jutes, which is you. The Saxons. Let's have a look at the Saxons, see if they'll pay me to join that war. I was going to say, I'll pay you back your loan to join my war against the Roman Empire. It's not like they're going to pay me anything. No. Probably get 300 for it. It's not worth it. Uh... Ready for battle. Well, even 300 is better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. And objected. Damn. Mm. 
Won't even go for non aggression on it. Um... It's because they like the Caledonians. Yeah, they don't like me being at war with the Caledonians. Well, that's their mistake. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get paid for anything there, so. Uh... Well, I'll, I'll like you. Like I said, I'll pay you back your uh, your loan. You may as well get that and then join my uh, my war against them. I, I've, I've done it now. <laughs> ah. That's another auto resolve. You got an onager in there, or that's oh yeah, that's the uh, the big army you had, right? Uh, go for a loot and occupy again. See what's built up in here. Knock it all down because it's all Roman. That's given me a, quite a bit of an income. And I'm going to just check, see how my food situation is pretty good. Right. Yes, it's all black blades. Hmm. Um, just trying to decide what to go for here. I don't think there's anything really that I can build. Um, oh, the sanitation building again. Uh... Why does the Nordic Brigant unit turn into a... Let's see, where was it? Nordic Brigands turns into Nordic Raiders, which is a camp unit, even though the Brigands are an infantry or a range yeah, infantry. Yeah, but... it's... Um... Again, it's it's a skirmish cav unit with guerrilla tactics, right? Um, and it's an early one in the tree as well. It, it upgrades pretty early. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was looking at it. I'll probably stick to melee cav though. Never really liked the whole skirmisher calf thing. May as well just have regular skirmishers. There are more of them. More ammo usually. Okay, um, I'm not sure what to build up in this. I'll not build anything just yet. Save some money. Uh, let's see about recruiting. Can't recruit anything here. Uh, those Caledonians are going to, I'm going to be interested to see where they go. Right, everybody's in office, I think. Oh, him. Hmm, loyalty's really quite low. I need to drop my control somehow, so I need to get influence on people. Still no trade agreements yet, so... I'll end the turn there. Oh. Can I sign a provincial governor? No. Yeah, I should drop some control as well. Got a little bit much. Right. Would have got our level up. Let's see. So. I can actually, with my navy, reach the Geet navy, but I'm assuming it's just going to run away, or uh, sail away, I suppose. Yeah, probably will. And then I won't be able to reach them afterwards, so it's kind of pointless. Although, I mean, I could probably reach them a turn after, because I don't think they're going to go too far away. But, I don't know. The garrison in Hrefenschalt looks like it's healing up reasonably. 
Yeah, I noticed that as well. It's only 11. You should be able to defend that with what you've got. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. But I might need the navy to help out when like, I get attacked by the Danes in either Alabu or Afen, and maybe the um, the Angles as well. But I guess I can just send them after now, see what they do. If they don't run, I'll fight it. If they do, then I might yeah. come back. So we'll see what happens. Hello. They run, and just slightly too far. Don't know if I should chase them or not. I guess probably not. Um, you've pushed them enough away for the, it not to be a threat, so I'd I'd come back to be honest. Yeah, It'd be cool if you could lay an ambush in the sea, but sadly not the case. Right, I think I'm gonna get rid of another one of these units and get another Nordic or a Frost skirmisher even. Probably gonna get some more Nordic levy too. My income's just horrendous right now, though, so but I do need some more infantry. Right. Um, technology is going to be done next turn. That's good. Diplomacy. The angles hate me quite a bit. Welcome. Speak. We will gladly listen to your offers. But oh, nice. Got some trade with the Rugians. Probably could have asked some money, but I didn't think they were going to go for that so easily. But. I'll take any bit of money I can get right now. And last but not least, least even. Welcome. We will talk and then we will feast until our guts oh, thank you. and our backside. That'll be the last of it there, I think, is it? Yeah. I think uh got you some interest in there as well in there. <laughs> it's all good. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's see if the Danes decide to do anything out here, come the Caledonians. Yeah. Might have to fight that, fight that one before they get into your uh, towns there. Hmm, Danes look like they moved back. Geats are now going to attrition with their navy. Smart move. That's good. <laughs> Alright, let's... Koreans mm. moved their one ship back again. They've got over a full stack as well there now. I mean, if they attack with more than a full stack, I'm not too worried about it, but I definitely can't attack them with just my one full stack. So I'm just going to have to sit here for a while, I guess, and take, my, uh, take the opportunities when they arise. So what are you going to do about that Caledonian army? I'm not too sure at the moment. Um, let's see. Can you see any of it? Yeah, I can see what's in it. Any onagers? There's three units I can't see. Uh, no onager. Uh, two Celtic levy. Three, four band, one axe, two bow, skirmishes. It's possibly a lot of cavalry. Hmm. If it is a lot of cavalry, I can win it quite easily. Hmm. You have a lot of range units in your army. They ju they're just out of reach. Let's have a look at Elden. Uh, I need to see what my forces are like. Pretty okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is sit on the defensive there. 
Yeah, I uh, I guess that's all right. Except if they walk past Aldon and go straight for Teresa's or something, that could be problematic. Uh, I'm not sure they can get around the aggressive. The oh yeah, yeah, uh, you're right. I think the Red Circle of Doom. What does it allow me? Allows me to recruit ward runners. Ah, typical. It would be the uh, city centre building. Fantastic. How much is it to convert that? No, it's not too bad. I've got to repair it first. So repair. It's only two thousand to uh, convert it. I noticed that when playing the Pict as well, is that the uh, conversion didn't cost that much. When I was playing my Franks campaign, sometimes conversion was like 20,000 or some shit, it was crazy. The uh, conversion cost can be crazy high sometimes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, this is saying that I'm pretty even. Uh... We've got gotcha. one extra cav than me. We've got. Mm, I don't think I could win that even. It'd be a hard fight. Did you hire any mercenaries, or did you have the option? Uh, there was yeah, there wasn't many, so uh, I just hired an axe band. I reckon they've you can a, do it. They've got an onager as well. I'd be going up against three levy, three band, two archers, three brigands. An axe, four units of cavern, and onager. Well, you can make them waste their onager shots by just running one of your range units in his range, and then having him fire all your as all the shots on you, and then you've I got could, a massive yeah. range advantage. It's just I've not I've only got four units of melee. Yeah, that's kind of problematic. Going up against. 10 units of melee. He's got one more calf than me. <laughs> no. It's a smarter move. Tell you what, I'm going to take this risk. That is quite the risk. I guess, yeah, if they take a Borok, I mean, let's take it back. It's not a massive deal. The, 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 the worst scenario is that they raise it. If they raise it, so be it. You know, Did can... you uh, already queue up the conversion or not yet? Not yet. I, I had queued uh, a repair up. Just cancelled it now, so I'm not wasting the money on it. Yeah, exactly. Um... I'm going to repair that now. Not repair that. What to do? What am I doing on food? Got a lot of food. I'm going to build another public order building in uh, Eblana. Growth's doing it okay, so I should be able to do something either in uh, Tuessis, I think I'll do next. Uh, we'll go for spy recruitment or you know, Celtic Berserkers. I might as well pick up some Berserkers. I tend not to like Berserker units because they're, you know, they're just problematic. Uh, still can't get any trade, even though everything's repaired. I don't know why that is. It seems quite weird. Yeah, I'm very surprised that... Because if you look at the top of Scotland, between Scotland and Ireland, there's like a a trade thing there, a trade link. Yeah. So but why? even so, like, because I'm, for example, I'm trading with the uh, Rugians, and we're going, like, full-on through sea as well. Yeah. Well, no, it's trading straight into Alibu, which is your original starting place. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need to set up a... It'll really... Eberrakum being raised would cause me a lot of problems because I would never... I'd get, until I reconquer that or resettle it, I'd never be able to get any trade. 
but that possibly could be done by just saving up all the money I take from looting uh, the rest of Britain. It's a, I don't want to lose Aildin or those armies that are in Aildin, you see. Yeah. Um, I'm moving up there so it's going to allow me to recruit a couple of units of wood runners. Hmm. Family tree, everybody happy? Oh, losing, still losing a lot of. Real loyalty. I'm having some real problems with loyalty. I want to embezzle some funds. Okay. In fact, I got uh, my Imperium, so I can have four armies now. Two governors, right? That'll do. Oh yeah, my Imperium just went up as well. Oh, nice. I finished up Militarized Society. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay, my navy can't reach that Geet army anymore, so I don't think I'm gonna bother with that anymore. Probably shove it in Hrafnus Holt now in case the Geets decide to do anything, but they, they just stood there last turn, so it doesn't look like they're actually coming anymore. I just wanted to attack me so I can get rid of him and then be done with him. Alright, at least I got a bit of happiness now. To be honest, that with your your garrison army in Hrefenshult there, that fleet should be enough to defend it. I think you should have get rid of the four the five units, the general on the four. It's up to you or you could move them over to Alibu and But I mean it's entirely up to you. Uh I mean if you you're struggling for income, get rid of it. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not, I'm, I'm not struggling necessarily, but yeah, it's just kind of annoying because I don't really know what to do now because I can't really go anywhere and take more provinces. I mean, I get I need to get this all sorted anyway, but in order to do that, like, make the provinces happy, I need to build buildings, and for that I need money, and uh -huh. yeah, so I guess I, I should, probably should get rid of them. Disband. Are you repairing that artisan in half? Yeah, I was leaving it I'd for a few it turns. Down. Really? Yeah. Why? Knock it down and then build the public order building in its place. And because it builds into the chieftain's hold, which is what you use to get, and you use that one in the satellite, not in the main province. You use it in the secondary ones. It gives you the public order, and it'll give you access on tier three to the herdman, and then it allows you to either do the in the city centre. Then you can either do the one for the immigrant control or the one that gives you the um, research bonus. Right. Um, well, the thing is, I probably want that one in Alabu because that one, uh, like, you can only get it to the max level in Alabu or in your capital anyway, and that would be Alabu. So I should probably make it there instead. Um, it's the capital city, uh, the walled settlements that you can max them out, not your your actual capital. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's probably can I use. Uh, we're constructing your faction capital. All oh, right. Um, it, does it say your faction capital? Yeah. Hmm. Because that's what I was assuming it's a bit when misleading. Yeah, that's what I um did with my my Franks campaign. I assumed it was it meant the faction capital and not like the capital of the province in which uh -huh. your faction capital is located. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, the wording says I could only do it in Alibu, basically. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to make it in half an hour, it would be in uh, Roughness Hold. Which, which building is that again, sorry? The Chieftain's Castle. Or the Warlord's Castle, depending on which one you go for. Yeah. But it's the same building, essentially.
So I think I'll leave that one, and then I'll um, I'll get rid of the artisan and the roughness. No, actually, no, that wouldn't be the right one either. So I'd have to make a new one in Alibu, basically. So I can get rid of the farmstead, I guess. There. I think I'll leave it for now, anyway. I'll make that later because I won't be able to get it for a while yet, anyway. The warlord's hold is uh, on sacred king. I'm not going to go for that for a while yet, anyway. So I'll probably just leave that for the next population thingy. I need another sanitation building at some point as well. To deal with all that. Right, anyway. Um, so there's not much more I can do really. I think I'm just going to save up some money so I can actually start building set buildings. I'm tempted to make an honor, an honor, honor ship, but. I have little gain in which. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna end the turn. Oh, there you go. I just also resolved this. There's like a unit with 30 men in it. Worst case scenario here is a raise. Oh, they're landing you off the hook. Yep, I was hoping that'd happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't worth much to begin with anyway, was it? Nah. I wasn't earning anything in there. Nope. Uh, there's no buildings in it other than a, a damaged city centre, but, uh, well, town building. Looks like the army from the Geats is building up, I think. Looked like it was bigger just now. Have you tried getting peace with them? With the Geats? Mm. I could try, but usually uh, migrated factions, they don't care about peace anymore. I'll give it a go. Got an appropriate name though, the Lone um, Fighters. Honor that. Right, my uh, embezzle didn't work, so I lost control. Uh, it's a great way of losing control. If you ever need to sort of drop your control, just go for an embezzle on funds. Um, it's a win win situation. If it works, you get money. If it fails, you lose your control, which you're trying to drop anyway. So. Yeah, that's a good point. So that castle can only be built in your right, and I've mucked up a little bit then. Not to worry, I'll fix it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think that's how it works, but I'm not, I don't know. Not 100% on it, but it, it would make sense, warding wise anyway. Let's have a look at this army now. Right, that's a full stack. Let's move them down. I'll do as a defensive force for now. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Oh, there we go. Another town. It's going to probably have a rebellion, I guess. I'll end up with a rebellion up here somewhere. Um, <laughs> Minus 55. Yeah. <laughs> right, I need this uh, fixing. Right, I might as well put a governor in here now. Actually, have a look at the uh... right. Well, from animal husbandry, he'll do. So, in as a governor. Okay, I'm just going to have a quick look at my generals for households and things. Uh, I've not checked that for a while. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I should do that. Don't even know if I have any. Nope, I have zero. Lovely. 
Okay, morale and reinforcing is a pretty crap one. Yeah, I remember when I played this picks, I got a lot of those. Kind of pointless. Yeah. Just, I, I've put it into the other army just in case I do need to pick up some uh, reinforcements. But because especially as the picks with the night battles, you're gonna have so many battles where you're just like you're leaving out your um, enemies and your allies sometimes, or well, no, yeah, be your other armies, and then they won't be any reinforcements either. I'm just knocking everything down as I go along here as well. Um, I'm not repairing anything, there's no point really. No. I'm not actually building anything either, I'm leaving them pretty naked. <laughs> What's your income at now? Uh, 999 a turn. Hmm. If you need money, not... let me know. Uh, I should be alright. Um, it's just that. It, the issue I've got is not having any trade with anybody. As soon as I can open up Sagontium and get trade coming in, I should have better uh, income. And I'm hoping that Britain in itself is going to be a nice, easy take. And once I've got Britain and start, then it'll be just a turtle job, then just build up. Yeah. Um, oh, issue an edict over here. What should I do? I'll go with growth and construction cost because I'm going to be building there. Uh, yeah, so. I'll probably turtle once I've got Britain under control. Alright. Uh, I've just got to chase the Caledonians out. For the tribe. I have a general who's ready for duty. I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't used him at all. Did he get injured by anybody? I don't know how. I didn't say. He's, no, not, he's, not, even in, uh, like he's not even in use, so I don't know how did he would have been. A son, maybe? No, he's an other noble as well. That's mm. weird. Anyway, uh, I've got a subject. Tribal loyalty. The tribe grows fractious. Two groups within it have been caught fighting to prove who is the bo most butt thirsty. Organize the fight. Mediate or praise one. Nope, we're going to organize it. Sounds good. Let's do yeah. it. Alright, I'm going to build up my pasture so I can start making some cavalry. Which are probably going to cost me a handful. Actually, it's these guys. They only cost 135. It's not too bad. They, um, the Geats, of course, deliberately move their army just like one step out of my range. Actually, it looks like I can reach them, but I'll just run away, so there's no point anyway. They're in, a, in an odd position. I just, I just want to attack me. They are in range now to attack, and they've got, like, technically an overwhelming army, except for my, my um, garrison, I suppose, but... And their navy is still close by too, but I'm not too worried about that anymore. They don't really look like they could do anything from there. So I think it's going to be a very short turn for me. There's not really much I can do. Town is no, like super unhappy as well. I mean, it? I... Oh yeah. Well, yeah, minus four, but that's with an army and a navy in there, so... Let's see, why is it actually unhappy? Let's have a look. Raiding. Oh, right, yeah, that's making up a lot of it. Some instability still, that's going to oh. go away. Maybe knock down that farm in Alibu and then start building your, your public order chain there. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, I'll do that. I didn't, wanna, didn't really want to get rid of anything because I'm not making that much money, but it's probably a good idea just to get that started anyway. I think the public order one I'll earn you more income than a base yeah, farm. Yeah, I think it's about it, 330, is it? it? Yeah, it does give me more. But of course, I have to go for a few turns before I actually get that money. Oh, they're really close now. I think they might attack me this turn. Next, even. Surprisingly, they didn't move their navy back. You'd think they would do something like that. If they were going to attack. Hmm. Oh. The Varinians look like they're coming for some. Yeah. Where did that other army go though? It looked like one of them. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's disappeared. If they come for Huffen, like, I'll gladly take him. If I can just defeat those armies there, 
and then possibly get some peace or even take their town. Not really planning on going that way yet though, so I'd better not take their town. Maybe vassalize them. I keep getting options for this general thing. I'm just taking I'm not even reading it at the minute. I should really. <laughs> oh, I'm just going, I'll do I'll do. <laughs> okay, general's upgraded. Um Oh yeah, the Chieftain's House gives 225 uh, wealth, but still better than the farm did. So the Cunning's maxed on the General. Uh, I'm going to max out the Sacking and then I'm going to go for the Melee Defense. I'm just going to get rid of this Rebellion. Britannic Rebels. There's probably no point in that because I'll probably end up with another one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I'll buy a turn. Um, it's just helped me upgrade my general, really. Yeah, you're, it looks like your main army's not standing in Linda Miner, so when they're in there, it might be even better. There you go. Yeah. Right, I can get Sagontian, but I'd probably lose Lindum, that Caledonian army. Yeah, I was going to say, do you know where they are? No idea, they're down near Camelodon or Londinium somewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to be too far away. Hmm. There oh, they there are. They are. Ooh, they're uh, besieging currently. Oh, they're, no, they're raiding, sorry. Let's have a look at the Romans. Are they at war with them? No. If you do attack on border raiding, I think they uh, start out as winded, don't they? Uh, and I think they can't like go back from anywhere. Like they can't get better than winded. I think. I've took attrition losses, so I, I'm just going to go and sit back up in London. All right. And uh, bet your army's going to come for me at one point. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of money to spend here. At like 5,000, so. Um, locking down the farm in Aildon. So I'm going to do some repairing and some building here, I think. Um, what to build, though? <laughs> uh, seven turns, five. Hmm. Is it the Geats that are immune to snow attrition? It is, yeah. Right. I was wondering why they hadn't taken any damage yet while they were running through the snow, but that's why. Right, I've turned the taxes off in this. Uh, Erebrokum and what's the uh, Britannia Inferior? Right. I was on negative forty food there, so. Oh, I see. Um, until I build up a little bit more. We go for that building. What we're doing for men here. I'm still on an income of a thousand a turn. I still don't understand why your uh, skirmish units are so much more expensive than mine when their stats, like ranged wise anyway, are the same basically. I, it seems weird. I think yours uh, have got like. Better I think defense. later on I get better ones than yours though. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm just saying, like, the these units, yours cost, like, two and a half times, um, like, as much as mine. And uh, they've got both got 90 missile damage and 8 ammunition. But yours have got a little bit more melee stats, but I don't know, I don't buy my skirmishers for melee, I guess. Seems weird. Yeah, the, um, the Burgundians, like... That new deal, well, new deal scene, it's quite old at this point. But anyway, yeah, that faction, they get like the 
the skirmishers that have like the barbed the barbed skirmishes or whatever they're called I can't remember but they are like super good even in melee they're like all over the place I'm just working some diplomacy here. I'm going to try and get uh, a few non-aggressions with some of the guys that are close to you to try and improve, you know, the relations. Mm -hmm. Now the none of them are going for it. Um. Okay, I'll do. Ooh, because I went for that organized the fight. I got plus twenty percent from cultural buildings wealth for all from all regions. Nice. For free turns, not bad. No. All right, I'm gonna build up that chieftain's house. Ah, I got my first uh, ancillary. Although it's this one that I don't know. It's this one's one of those that's really good for you. Uh, like, well, for the picks anyway, if you decide to go with like a, um, a rushing army, like just no armor and just rushing in there and killing everything as fast as possible, because it's like the plus 10% battle movement speed, plus 10% yeah. melee attack, but minus 50% armor. I love that one. Yeah, it's really good. I'd but... take weak, take weak armored units anyway and just run like hell. Yeah, exactly. And then the 15% doesn't do much, but the 10 melee attack's crazy. Who ended up getting that? Ready for orders. Apparently, Get Wolf got it, but it's not in there. I don't see it. Oh well. Um, all right. I think I built my building. There's so little to do for me right now. I think the Geats might attack me this turn. I hope they do. Hopefully, because then that's freeing up that fleet. Yeah, exactly, and then I can actually start doing some tactics against the Varinians with their armies on navies. Who are they at war with the Varinians? Uh, me and the Burgundians. They're uh, they're not a tributary state to the Danes anymore, I guess because the Danes aren't, like they don't have any land anymore, so I don't know how that works. Try to get in peace with them? Uh, yeah, I'll try that. Come, come. Let me hear Hello. you talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meek or nice. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I have nothing to offer them right now either. Mm -hmm. See if the Geats want peace. Not that I really Lord want peace anymore, but no, they're moderate. My well, what? what about the Danes? They're, I, I would like to get peace with them more. Well. No. I probably could get it with the Geats, but I don't know if I want to. My time is spent spent Especially if they're going to attack me. But if they don't attack me this turn, I might just offer it them next turn. But mm -hmm. for now, I'll, I'll see if they attack me or not. Um, do I have anything else to do? You can become an elder. No, I'll wait a little bit. So can you. Alright, and turn. I do hope they attack me. Just to have a fight again as well. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Geats. What are you <coughs> doing? If that army of mine, or that if that navy of mine was an army, I'd probably just chase after them and attack them, but it's not. God, everything's gone really passive around you, hasn't it? It's, ah. Yeah, where are you going? Opportunity. True. Probably gone after the Burgundians. Sadly, my navy isn't there, so I can't attack them uh, the same turn unless I want to attack them from the sea and get sea sickness. Uh. I've got my gem roll. Um, how much is in it? It's, it's only six units. You probably still get a decent auto resolve with it, or a decent fight with it. 
Yeah, they do get a uh, total of six units from the garrison there. So that would be 12 total. Oh, my uh, spare units have upgraded. Right, I'm going to do this. Another auto resolve. Yeah, pretty boring really uh, <laughs> at the moment, but uh, another loot and occupy. <laughs> and another Imperium. Well, at least if you keep going at that pace, you'll be able to help me out at one point. <laughs> Well, this this is what I'm trying to think of now is if I can get through and get everything built up. There's fishing jetties again. That's getting knocked down. That's getting knocked down. The lead deposit. Mm. It's really cheap for me to convert these capitals. Right, Linden might get taken, which would be a bit of an annoyance. But I'm not going to actually convert that one just yet. Um, I don't want to knock that down or convert it to. Right. Yeah, I've got trade port routes opening up now. Nice. We could probably trade as well, can't we? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Let's have a look. May the gods bless your patience and. Ooh. I do the toll with the overlong talk. I don't like that. You're gonna make 25 more off of it I than I am. Thankful that I have Unacceptable. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get trade with all these others now. Probably, Probably be not. worth building up your timber again at some point as well. Definitely now, yeah. Um. I'll probably lose even more from trade because I'm giving you my timber right now. Are you, you didn't show you were producing anything. Really? Oh, I've got timber and half an assault. You've got to make it to actually trade it. You need to build the timber thing. The timber oh, building. Oh, right. I don't even, yeah, sorry. I don't even have that. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly. Let me just quick check on the governor, see what he's got. You search rate for military, that'll do. Armour for the commanded unit. It's not graded yet though. Right. Food's doing okay. I'm gonna have a big rebellion in Britannia Inferior again. Lovely. Yeah, I might That's get rid of my uh... Uh... I might get rid of my artisan and make that wood building the timber one. Repel. Did I knock that down? That's going to be a repair. Right, I've just basically I've, I've cancelled the buildings in Linden um, because that Caledonian army's probably still around in um, around Camelodunum. Camelodunum. <laughs> Such a name to pronounce. Um, because that's around there, I, uh, I don't really want to risk losing the money, so I'm just going to build up Caledonia. All right. All right, it's the spares gone. I'm going to get rid of this mercenary axe band. And recruit more dogs. There we go. Oh, oh, I didn't check the family tree. Never mind. Uh, Seventeen hundred to turn them on now. Nice. It's more than I'm making. I've right. got a lot of property though. You know, Britain's rich. Um, That's true. So yeah. As I say, I mean, I can probably go, hold go. up in Britain once I've got it. Talk. I warn you, and start sending armies to you so we can push nice. you through Europe. Nice. Looks like the uh, Geats are willing to pay me for trade. Uh, for trade, for uh, peace even. Is it high? Yeah. And uh, Nice. 
even up to 600, it's still moderate. So I'm gonna try 900. Oh, it paid me 900. Nice. Thanks, Geats. Now get the hell out of my territory. Did you know how to work out whether it's gonna go yes or no on that one? It just keep going until it gets to low, and then it's usually two under when it hits low. So if it okay. went low, it so so if you if you pushed it up again into twelve hundred, it's still moderate. You go to fifteen hundred, still moderate. Eighteen hundred low. Oh, like you that. Yeah, twelve hundred yeah. for it. Yeah. Well, on this one, it was um, six hundred high, nine hundred moderate, twelve hundred low. So I just went for nine hundred. Yeah. But yeah, it it was easier in um, in Shogun too, because then uh, like if it was um, we might be able to come to this to agreement. It it is it's always a no. So you just keep going until it's satisfactory, and then as high as possible. I've not played Shogun for ages. <laughs> <laughs> I played it yesterday, actually the day before yesterday. Um, anyway, right, so I'm going to get rid of this building, and I'm going to make that other building. Got a decent bit of money, uh, of money as well now. I don't think I really want to build a second army yet though. I'm thinking maybe I want to build another honor gear, but the thing is it's going to just take money while I'm not a war of anyone, so there's no point. Probably will send my navy down now though to Hafen or Alabu. Uh, what I do is send it to Hafen. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Because then I can so then do you... stuff with the. Uh... Oh, and next turn I can actually attack the Rugians then if they're still yeah. away. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of weird. I don't, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work because I can't land my army there anyway because um, I'm already at war with them. Although, I guess if you besiege their town, you, you can land anyway next to them, can't you? Or if you yeah. besiege their... Yeah, yeah, right. Like you did up with the gates. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I see. Just at the, at the north of the, the settlement. Um, yeah. This... There's a little beach uh, there. Oh, where's my pen? This little beach. Uh, it's not doing it. Never mind. <laughs> right here, basically. Yes. Yeah. Exactly there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it next turn. If they're still gone anyway, I'll do it next turn, yeah. And that'll definitely be not resolved then. And then uh, hopefully I can go from there. That doesn't mean that it's sort of telling me I need to go east from there uh, to province I didn't really want to take just yet. I'd rather go west before, but I guess by the time that all happens, maybe you'll be near uh, the Franks and stuff anyway, and then you can take that instead. Well, we'll my issue at the moment is just this Caledonian army. If I can chase them out of Britain and into Europe and get these three provinces at the bottom, I should be able to support uh, a second army that I can send to you. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm going to end my turn. I think we should end the episode there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like a good place to end the episode. Ah, there we go. Oh, there they are. Wait, what? No, no. What was that? That was it. Shall we attack you? No, we shan't. Shall we? No, <laughs> no, yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it was like one of those situations where someone else attacked it first and there was no one in there anymore and then they just took it. But they didn't. They just went there and then just walked away again. Okay, Geats, I don't know about this. I mean, we're at peace now, but that doesn't mean you should just... <laughs> they might backstab you there, but... Yeah, I'm a little worried now. I mean, I can, I can move my navy back. I'll see what the Vrinians do. If they're there in their own town again, then I'll just move my, army back, or my navy back again. Just in case. I'll see if I can get a non or a yeah non-aggression pack with the Geats as well. I don't really trust that. Mm. Yeah, they're uh, back. Typical. Looks like they uh, got defeated. Some of their armies are somewhat depleted. They're up against the Burgundians, so they took a bit of a hit. Yeah. Probably still not enough for me to just go in there now. I'll have a look <laughs> with my navy if I can see if their units are depleted very much because that one of their armies looks like it's fairly depleted. The second one, not so much. Uh, they're both 16. But... Yeah, but I mean, like if you look at the flag, it's like it's got scars yeah. and stuff on it. But I don't know if it'd be enough. Regardless, we'll find out next time, I guess. Yep, so I did. Yeah, we'll have a look in the next video. Uh, right. I think this is a good place to, to end this part of the, the episode. Yeah, so I think. Uh, yeah, Bit of a slow episode, uh, but hopefully the next few will, will pick up a bit. Yeah, lots of other results for you. Another rebellion there again as well. Mm -hmm. We'll probably yeah, have we'll a fight against that. the Caledonians soon. I yeah, that's coming this turn, I think. Cool. All right, so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep, catch you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.